I'm gonna attempt something here that I've been wanting to do for a very long time because it's actually one of the questions a lot of people ask about headphones. What's the quality of the phone calls? How good is this set of headphones at taking phone calls? Because pretty much they're all great at music. And noise cancelling is a big thing as well, but let's actually test how they make a phone call. So I've got one phone hooked up to my Rodecaster so I can record a phone call. I've got another phone that I can pair the headphones to and make the phone call, and I'm hoping that what I'll be able to record and play to you is the sound that you hear of me talking through the headphones. Now, in a quiet environment like this in the EFGM studio, all good. But then I've also enlisted the support of YouTube and a simple little video that is ambient street noise. Now, I'm pumping that up a bit. Solid volume. It's a bit of rain, it's a bit of beeping, it's a bit of everything. I'm already speaking up, just hearing it. So I'm gonna pause that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play, we're gonna talk normally, and then we're gonna play that. I don't know, five, 10 seconds on each set of headphones and we'll see what we can get. I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 sets of headphones here from Apple to LG to AG to JBL and Jabra and Sony and Belkin. I've covered every price point. Now I'm gonna do them in a random order, just whatever they appear to me. And at the end, I'll try and summarize based on price and quality. And frankly, this is really just about you being the judge. I'm just gonna put it out there and you can decide what you think in terms of what you wanna buy. So let's give it a go and pair our first set. So we've got a phone call that has been made. I am now recording my voice through the audio mixer, which is the receiving end of this phone call. So this is the sound of the Apple AirPods Pro. Okay, these are the Apple AirPods Pro with noise cancelling, all the bells and whistles. Uh, and this is what a phone call sounds like if you're talking and going about your day life. But then let's add some background noise and see what that does to the phone call. Obviously, with some, you want them to, you know, get rid of that sound. Others, it'll be a bit more difficult. So this is the sound. And if we move about and walk about and do things, maybe it'll make a difference. So that is the Apple AirPods Pro. Now, hopefully we can actually just keep the connection alive and switch headphones. Let's try the Pixel Buds A series next. Some of these um, I've used before, some of them I haven't. These ones I have. So these are the Pixel Buds A series um, connected via Bluetooth to my iPhone. And now let's add some background noise. So again, you've got that quite loud, um, background noise that's available there. And just for old time's sake, let's use a, a microphone here that's open to the room. So you can hear what it's like in the whole room with that noise going at these speakers. So now it's just me, and we'll pause that again, mute that music or that ambient noise. And this is just me on the headphones, moving around, etc., etc. Again, I don't know what it sounds like. You be the judge. These are the Sony WF-1000 X Mark IV. Now, these are brand new out of the box, so I haven't used these before, so we'll pair these up. So this is the sound of a Sony, and these are a high-end headphone from Sony, okay? These are not your average headphone in terms of price. You're talking $400-odd dollars. I think I've seen them recently, about the high 300s. WF-1000 Mark IVs. These are stunning quality, um, very good headphones. But let's add that ambient noise. So again, this is just somewhat similar if you're walking down a busy street, city traffic, maybe even there is some rain or wind or whatever it might be. And I will say wind is the one thing I can't be testing right here. I should have brought a fan, okay? But I didn't. So that's the one thing I can't test right now is the effect of wind. But just on their own, Sony headphones. Now I should say, fortunately, none of them have hung up the call as I've put the uh, headphones away. So let's see how we go with Belkin's uh, top end, uh, Soundform Freedom True Wireless Earbuds. Let's get those paired up. There's three products in the Belkin Soundform range this year. Uh, these are the top end, a nice little small uh, AirPod looking like, but they have Find My built into the case, um, as well as some crazy good features. So um, they're slimline, they fit well. Uh, uh, this, this is, is me, me talking, talking on the phone, phone but this, this is me. me out on the street talking on the phone so a lot of ambient noise um i don't know but like it's it's coming through to me and i feel put off by it so i'd be i'd probably be talking louder if i was on the phone like this but 
this is what it would be like if you're in a busy area trying to use these, maybe even a busy office uh, trying to use these headphones. Yes or no? Your call. Uh, let's just stick with the Belkin range, and these are their mid-priced range. I actually utterly love these. They're a much smaller bud in the ear, which is a big tick from me. Uh, and they're now paired, so you should be uh, hearing me through the headphones. Um, I actually really think these are the sweet spot in the Belkin range. From memory, they're 120 Aussie dollars, um, and they come with a, a charging power brick as well for your phone and your headphones, which is cool. Um, let's add some ambient noise now, though. As if we're out on the street, trucks and cars driving by. It sounds like it's raining as well, if I'm all honest. Um, I do regret not thinking about bringing some sort of um, wind machine. I should have uh, used a blower from the garden, which would have added noise and wind. But anyway, they're your uh, Belkin sound form. These are the Rise True Wireless Buds. Middle of the range at Big W. Let's stick with Belkin and go to their most affordable. Okay. So these are the Belkin Soundform Move Plus. It's looking $89, and they come with a wireless charging pack as well, a little wireless charging pad um, at Big W. So these are under $100, okay? So let's just remember and set our expectations there. Uh, this is the quality of the phone call, and then let's add that ambient noise as if we're wandering the streets of Sydney, Australia, wondering where we're going and how we'll ever get there. And also, why are we walking and not driving? That's just madness. Um, so that's your quality, uh, movement, if there's any sound in that. Uh, it's always interesting to see whether or not they fall out. These ones are good. Again, I love these ones. They're a good, they're not a bad size in the ear. Um, and they fit well, they work well. And for paying for your buck, very good audio quality. Let's go to the more recently announced Apple AirPods. So, to be clear, I'm not listening to music at all on these, by the way. I'm not listening to test the music quality. I feel, find that to be even more subjective. But this, the reason for this test is because the sound at the other end is what you want to know. It's what you can't really test on your own. So this is the new AirPods. And what do they call them? Third generation. I am not a massive fan because I, I can't get a good fit. I feel like they're always going to fall out. A lot of people love them. That's cool. Let's add that background noise. Now, again, Apple talk about the amount of effort they put in with the microphones. Um, a lot of companies do that, but this is the, um, the proof being in the pudding. And again, I'm not saying this is the bell and end all, but this is a somewhat controlled situation. Same background noise, same experiment, different headphones. So they're your third generation Apple AirPods. Let's go super affordable again with JBL. So from JBL, these are the Tune 225s. I don't have a price on me right now, but they're affordable. I'm pretty sure these are at the, at the absolute low end of JBL's range. Now, I mean, on these, they're obviously a little longer stalked than most headphones these days. But, you know, in terms of your younger, late, uh, late tens, early teens, uh, in terms of affordable headphones, doesn't come much better than this. So let's, um, let's see how this sounds, and then let's add that ambient noise. See how that sounds as well. Um, I feel like getting out of the rain. I mean, that's the only thing that's happened to me here. I'm thinking, oh, oh, let's get out of the rain. These ones are touch loose. Oh, they, they feel, feel like when I, well, they sound like when I touch them. Mental note, touching hangs up the call when you're on a call. So I actually don't know whether that's happened more often than not. No, that's the first time we've had a hang up. So let's mute that now and go, not bad. I'll take it. And let's move on. Oh. <sighs> So many headphones to choose from. Let's take the LG Tone. I only received these a couple of days ago, um, so I know absolutely nothing about them, but I did use them on the weekend, on the lawns. It's about as big a test as I give for headphones normally. Um, I love the size, super ultra small. That's good. And I think we're paired. We are paired. So these I'm a big fan of. Uh, great little case. Uh, the music quality is, to be honest, awesome. I was listening to these on the weekend. Love them. And I love the size of them, and they're a good fit. So that's a big win on its own. Hopefully the sound quality on a normal phone call is good here. This is, you know, conference call style. This is what it would be like if you were using your headphones for a Zoom call or something like that. But if you went outside, look at the pouring rain, you'd get something like this. So, you know, I think what we're looking for here is some of these won't cope well. I assume. I don't know. Maybe they're all great. Some of them, though, will absolutely excel at 
trying to overemphasize the, the local noise that is me over and above what you're seeing and hearing um, from the outside noise. Next cab off the rank, the AG. Now, pff, never really heard of this brand until they were sent to me. Um, AG. Now these, there's a couple of different models here I've got. These are the TWS 04 KWH. Um, so really great name. Power on. Okay. So something simple. I do love the case. It's a very nice, um, nice feel to it, weirdly. Uh, but anyway, that's by the by. This is a phone call quality. What does it sound like to make a call on the AG TWS 04 K? WH. Um, let's add some ambient noise to that phone call, though, because you never know where you're going to be when someone rings you. You don't know that you're, gonna, you're not going to quite get to your car. You haven't got there in time. So people will ring you when you're in a noisy place. You might work in a noisy environment. That could be another reason. So, again, a bit of movement, whatever we like. All good. That is the AG TWS 04 KWH. About as good a name as, as the, the Sony's. Others keep it simple, right? Let's try and keep it simple, folks. All right, so much fun to do this. So let's kick into a different brand. Let's go Jabra. These are the Elite 7 Pro. Now, I'm pretty sure these are the headphones that inspired me to do this. I remember a briefing where they said, we've got a couple coming out. I'll look at some of the other ones in a minute. And these ones had some serious microphone technology in them. And um, I can tell it's got that in it because I've just had some sort of pass-through happen where I'm, I'm not in noise-canceling mode. I'm in pass through so I can kind of hear myself that's fine as long as you're hearing me on the recording so this is the sound of a phone call on the Jabra Elite 7 Pro now let's add that background noise because if you do have really great microphone technology that should be coming through here right now that, that's the honest part of this whole thing and you know these are super comfortable look at them they're super sleek you can barely kind of see them protruding I'm a big fan of headphones not sticking out too much these I think come in a more bone color like you go kind of skin tone color here this is getting to the point where you could wear these all the time and that's obviously where we're going we're going to the point where people will wear headphones all the time it's you already see it now but i just think it's a bit rude i'm, I'm still not at that point let's try not to hang up the call jabra elite 7 pro um let's try something else from jbl these are the club pro plus tws these are a bit bigger a bit chunkier uh, in the ear. So what we got here is Club Pro Plus. That's what you're looking at there uh, from JBL. I can hear the pairing noise. I've tried so many JBL products in my time. I know the the, the sound of a JBL product pairing. Doom 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 doom. Do -do -do -do. There it is. All right, we're connected. And yes, this is the sound of me through the JBL Club Pro Plus TWS. So these, oh, oh, when I put, before I put the ambient noise on, I don't expect these to be great with the ambient noise. These are for great music, great sound. Um, these are for a different type of user. I don't see this as your city user. I see this as someone who wants to sit at home or the gym listening to great music. Let's add that ambient noise though and see what effect it has. They're, um, they're a bit looser in my ears, but um, they're not going anywhere because they're proper in-ear headphones. Um, I really like the like the feeling. They're super lightweight as well, so I like that a lot. I don't know how much of that you need before you make a judgment, but so be it. <laughs> now, there's another set of AG here. Now, these ones I've only just received. Uh, look at those. These these are the Kotsubu 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 AG Kotsubu Kotsubu. I think they're a Japanese brand. A lot of uh, Japanese symbols on there, so I am assuming that. Sorry if that is a poor assumption. Now, they're pink, but they're tiny. My goodness me. Actually, the pink's not bad. Look at that. You can barely see it there. Well, let's pair them. Power on. I like a good, strong voice in the ear. I like it when they do that. Kotsubu is connected. So this is me talking through these AGs. I've got to say, this is the first time I've put them on, first time I took them out of the box, and just looking at myself there, in the monitor, I can see, I mean, I would have thought pink was bad, but obviously my skin color is close to pink. Um, this is why I think um, if we look for skin tone, and they're going to have obviously so many skin tones, you're going to need a lot of different um, headphones. But imagine this, the actual skins you could put on headphones to give you this, or little sleeves like the old Nokia mobile phones. 
Anyway, I digress. Um, this is the sound of me on the Kotsubus from AG, and let's add some ambient noise. Um, I really can't tell you about the features of this because most of it's written in Japanese, but given the symbols on there, I can see they're lightweight, they have touch controls, they're IPX4 rated, some sort of fingerprint, something to do with a case. I can't say much more because I haven't researched them at all. I also don't know what they work. Maybe I'll put that on the screen when I'm in the post edit. But that's the sound of me talking on those. I am a massive fan of how they feel. I'm just going to put them back in here. Whoop. Try not to hang up the phone at the same time, you see. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Nice, cozy little box. That's really, really good. Oh, I like those a lot. What have we not tried? Um, there's another set, another set of Jabras. Now these ones are the Elite Threes. Now these, from my memory, are super cheap. I mean, for Jabra, crazy affordable. I remember when they came out thinking, this is this is a story on its own. Let's pair them. Okay, that was easy. We are connected. And these, as I remember them, affordable and also very lightweight. Again, compared to the Elite Sevens, um, very similar. Profile, sound, everything, excellent quality, lightweight headphones. I, I don't know that they'll be the same as the Elite 7s because of the technology in them, but this is the sound of me talking on them, and this is the sound of me with a ambient noise in the background. So that's going to be a pretty epic amount of ambient noise for these headphones at this price, but that's what you want, isn't it? Um, so this is me talking along in the pouring rain out on the city streets with my Jabra Elite 3. Thank you. We will pause that now. It's interesting how many headphones stay connected after you put them in their box. So, for example, the Kotsubos are still connected, even though that's been shut for some time. We'll leave that aside. Now, I counted 14 earlier. There's actually 15 because I misplaced my set of JBL Live Pro Plus and went to JB Hi-Fi and bought them. They were not 249, they're actually 178. So they've come down in price, which is a huge win because these are exceptional. Now they're exceptional music quality. JBL make great sound, great music quality, great sound, um, sorry, noise cancelling for the price. Like for the price, you're getting about $100 saving on noise cancelling. So let's try and pair them. There's that JBL sound again. Dun, 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 dun. We're connected. All right, so JBL Live Pro Plus, TWS. Um, let's have a listen on the phone. So now we're on the phone, talking away on the JBL Live Pro Plus. These, you know, with movement sound, uh, who knows what's happening around you, or just sitting in an office having a conversation, they should sound pretty good. And the profile here, again, very good, low profile, very small stalk, but also a bit of design to the stalk. Like, look at that. There's a bit of a, if I move around, a bit of a shine there. Little tiny JBL logo. It's, it's, these are seriously high quality design sound performance. So let's add the ambient noise and see what effect that has on the JBL Live Pro Plus. Remember, $178 I paid for these. Um, RRP, I think, was $249. Um, and I thought, yeah, putting on the box, $249 was the original RRP. But leading up to Christmas, headphones. Look at how many there are. You've got to break apart and find your uh, your market, and this is the JBL Live Pro Plus. So, there it is. That is the sound of silence. It's not the sound of silence at all. It's a stupid thing to say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sets of headphones. And you now know what they all sound like on the other end of a phone call. Which do you think? Let me know in the comments, which ones did you like the most? I don't care if you rank them all, or just pick one or two that you thought were great. Um, were there any surprises there? I don't know. I'm gonna have to listen in the edit and see what happens. But I wanna leave it up to you, because it's not really, it's so subjective, it should be you that decides. So I'm gonna put, you would have seen, <laughs> I'm gonna put all the prices in the edit so that you can see what each one is worth. It might help you give you some bang for buck equations there as well. Maybe there's no surprises, maybe there are some. For me, the surprise is the Kotsubus from AG. Very, very good form factor, excellent form factor. So I can't wait to listen to those, to listen to the music and see if there's another color. 
Um, I'm always a fan of, the, of what Jabra do. Their audio quality is great. The Belkin range is bang for your buck out of this world, especially those um, $89 ones, because you've got to remember you get a wireless charging pad with that. Sony's have the best noise cancelling. I still believe that uh, out of this world. And the JBL Live Pro Plus, I think, overall, with adaptive noise cancelling, music quality, and hopefully sound on phone quality, I think bang for your buck is a, is a good all-rounder. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, follow, subscribe, like, everything you want. Um, we are all over the social medias. Thanks for your support. We'll um, look forward to hearing from you.